Okay, Tom asks a question. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, we've had a couple of double kettlebell front squat questions today. I've been trying my best to improve my double kettlebell front squat strength using your 2-3-5 rep schemes. I have worked up to 50 total reps with the 24 and 28 bells, but my next jump up in weight is to combine the 28 and 32. Uh, so you're going to have to do some switching uh, probably every round. Uh, I've tried this, and it's too much for me. I collapse forward at the bottom after a rep or two. What should I do? Well, that's always a tough issue. Um, the second you added that extra four kilos, you fold it over. Um, one of the things I like about double kettlebell front squats, double kettlebell cleans, uh, double kettlebell presses, alternating presses, and that whole family of presses, is that it really does expose your weaknesses in your chain. Um, I love that phrase. We call it anaconda strength. You know, it's that squeeze strength. Uh, when you're, when you're, when you have the bells here, even if you're just standing with two, with two thirty twos, just standing as, as the weight pulls down, you've got to swing back up with the muscles that most Americans have almost forgotten about, like the rhomboids in that family, you know, so you're standing there and it's pulling you down at the bottom of the squat, the load is taking, pulling you down between your hips. Um, I would say that in your case, you have an issue. <laughs> I always feel like I'm giving medical advice. You have an issue with anaconda strength. Uh, you have a little anaconda strength issue. Now, how are you going to build that? Um, I would, if I were you, I would go back and reread all my work, but well, I don't know why I said that. But one of the things I would think about is the two, three, five, ten protocol. Uh, so you're going to do a set of two, do a set of three, do a set of five. That's ten reps. Then do ten more. But you're going to have to do them with those lighter bells, like the 24s. Doing double kettlebell front squats with 24s for ten. Yeah, obviously, okay, it's twice as many as five, but it's not. It feels far harder than twice the reps six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because you're under fatigue, because you're 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 fighting your the folding that you're getting because of the the weakness in the anaconda strength, is you've got to fight your way back on those reps, and it is hard. I watch strong people at these certs get bent over by those double twenty fours because they're strong, and they can do all these amazing things, and they can pass the snatch test but they don't have that kind of strength to hold up over time. Tom, my answer to you is pretty simple. Try the 2, 3, 5, 10. Um, you could easily just go 2, 3, 5, 10, 2, 3, 5, 10, 2, 3, 5 with the 24s. There's your 50. Uh, you might want to attempt in, in another workout, 2, 3, 5, 10 with the 24s, 2, 3, 5 with the 28s, Two, three, five, ten with the twenty fours. So that'll get you through uh, maybe a week or so, and then I would add two, three, five, ten with the twenty fours. Do the thirty two and and the twenty eight. Do two reps, three reps. So two reps, you know, switch three rep reps, and then switch three reps, two reps, two, three, three, two. There's 10 reps there, but you don't even get up to five and you don't even get up to 10. And it'll give you a chance to kind of work your way up through those. So, and the reason I'm saying two, three, three, two is so the, the when you switch bells, uh, you'll get the same reps on both sides. Um, I'd like to know how this goes. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's a lot more common than I think. Um, it's a lot more common than I think. That's interesting. But I think that a lot of people uh, get stuck when they add load because they get exposed where those weaknesses have been. Okay, good question. Thank you.